you know, plugging away. Workout today is called CFO. CFO stands for Chief Financial Officer, just in case you didn't know that because my sister did it. So anyways, let's talk about the workout. Uh, warm up today, three rounds. We're gonna do 10 burpees, 10 Kozak squat, 10 scat push-ups, five walkouts, uh, and then a 20 second quad stretch. So we all know burpees, right? We'll drop our chest to the ground, come back up, up above our head 10 times. Uh, 10 Kozak squat, right? Nice wide stance. Go down, get that butt back, weight in your heel, come back up through the other side. And then we have 10 scat push-ups. So scat push-ups, you can be in your four-point position or in a push-up position. You're going to bring your shoulder blades together while keeping your arms nice and straight. And then you're going to separate your shoulder blades at the top, right? 10 times, so together and then separate. Uh, then we have five walkouts. So walkouts, pretty much inchworms, sitting up nice and tall. Walk those hands out and then back in. Uh, and then 20 second quad stretch. So make sure you hang on to something, bring that quad back, hold it for about 20 seconds, get that nice stretch, and do both legs. So three rounds of that. Uh, and now we'll talk about the workout. So workout CFO, four rounds of a five minute AMRAP. So in that AMRAP, you will do six alternating dumbbell snatches, or if you have two dumbbells, you will do three dual dumbbell snatches. So six alternating dumbbell snatches or three dual, six renegade rows, nine air squats. For five minutes, rest two minutes. Do that four times. Score for the day is your total rounds and reps. Let's talk about the movements. Six alternating dumbbell snatch. So dumbbell snatch is grounded overhead, right? So keep those eyes up. Nice flat back, bring that dumbbell up above your head, land in that nice catch position. Try to drop underneath the dumbbell, come back down, switch arms, six times. Then you have six renegade rows. You can do this again with two or a single dumbbell. If you have a single dumbbell, you're gonna be in that push-up position. Make sure your glutes are squeezed. You're then going to row the dumbbell just like you would a dumbbell row. So in this push-up position, row, back down. Row, back down. So it's six, so I would do three on one side and then three on the other. Or if you have two dumbbells, hold both of them, do one, one, one. But if you have one, just do three and three. And then nine air squats. Air squats, feet about shoulder width apart, weight in your heels, drive those knees out nine times. Make sure we're breaking parallel and then standing fully up. So that is the workout CFO. All right, so there might be some math in there. We're gonna count your rounds and your reps at the end. And yeah, that's it. Have a fabulous rest of your Wednesday and we will see you back on Thursday.